How are you my internet family and welcome back for another video featuring my lovely boyfriend Thomas. Hey. So seeing as Valentine's Day is fast approaching, uh, we figured we'd um, cut the soppiness for a bit. We're going to do a video talking through some embarrassing stories. Yeah, and we're answering your uncomfortable relationship questions. Yeah. From Instagram and Twitter. And Twitter, yeah. Take the spawn. <laughs> <laughs> I got the idea for this video after Airwick sent me an email asking me if I could somehow incorporate their VI poo product into a video. I did say poo, it says poo. It's for smelly, smelly poos. <laughs> I immediately was brought back to when we lived in Spain together last year for three yeah, months. We lived in a really small room together. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was really fun, but it was also not pleasant at times. And uh, I developed IBS while we lived there. Thomas and I had to develop a system when we lived together in Spain. If either of us had to do a poo, we would say, what would we say? Have to go and do a Lion King. A Lion King. <laughs> and then we'd go into the bathroom and we'd play the opening song of the Lion King. Yeah. That would mean don't come into the bathroom for the next half an hour because it might be smelly. <laughs> It was a good system. <laughs> it was a good system, but now we've got an even better system. <laughs> Airwick sent us out a few of their VI Poo products to try. And where are these going to be? Stacked next to the toilets. Mm -hmm. And how do we use them? We spray them into the toilet. Before, before we do a poo. Before. What these do is they trap the smell in the bowl. And most people just try and cover it up with an aerosol, but that doesn't really work. You know when you don't wear anti-perspirant and you just put deodorant over sweat? It's kind of like that. What scent do you have there, my friend? A uh, fresh gent. A fresh for, gent. For this fresh gent. For this fresh gent. <laughs> they have a pink one for Valentine's Day. I think these would be very funny gift ideas. I think if you gave me one of these, I would not be able to stop laughing. My favorite of the smells is the lavender one. You're gonna talk about how lavender no. relaxes no. you? And you want to be relaxed while you're up no. making your poos. No. Lavender is relaxing and you know doing a poo at a partner's house, especially at the start, is very difficult. Apparently the average couple waits three months before doing a poo at the other person's house. <laughs> I don't think we did that. No. If you'd like to join us in making love and not odours for this Valentine's Day, you can check uh, the swipe up link down in the description box. <laughs> Take you to Amazon. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I feel like being able to talk about these things is a true test of a relationship, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that nice little sponsor sparked the idea for this ridiculous video that you're about to watch. So enjoy. Question one is, do you fart when the other is in the room and are you comfortable to do so? I feel like they just slip out. I never intentionally do it. I would yeah. go into another room still if I feel one brewing. <laughs> <laughs> but when I have an IBS attack, I can't really... You can't really help it. Sometimes like I'll, I'll, I'll or, warn him if it's coming really quickly. Yeah, anytime you've got IBS or anytime you're laughing in any way hard, oh, yeah. things escape. <laughs> do you remember that time I farted on your mum? By accident. The first time we were having drinks with my parents. Because <laughs> you were facing, you were like, both had like, you know when you sit on a chair with like the legs up and you're kind of cosy. And they were both sitting opposite from each other. But certain things were pointing in each oh. other's general direction. My future in-law. What did I do? She thought it was funny. <laughs> I eat a lot of beans for protein, fiber, so... I try and avoid it as best I can. <laughs> Number two, do you pee or poo in front of each other or at least leave the door open? We don't poo in front of each other. No. Do pee though. But I, I still try not to and we have a thing where like we can't get the pee out sometimes if the other person's like staring at us. Yeah, sometimes I just get a little bit self-conscious, you know, a little bit. <laughs> Which is, which is mental at this stage, <laughs> really. <laughs> You're not look, allowed to look right now, but you can look at any other time of the day. Question three is, what was it like to get intimate after 10 years of friendship? I, f I found it very nerve-wracking and awkward. 
you were fine. I remember you were yeah. just like following me around the room and you were grand and I was like, hee 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 hee. And was... I was just so terrified for like to take it to the next level. Yeah, I think it actually made things easier for me. Like I think I was more comfortable around you because we already knew each other like quite well. Oh, I was the total opposite. So I was just like yeah, this is great. Like All that was running through my mind is like, what if it's awful? And then how awkward is it going to be afterwards? And will yeah. it be strange when we see each other on nights out after this? Because stuff happened before we were, a good while before we were a couple. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I was all shy. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so exposed. And I think because we knew each other so well, I think yeah. I had the giggles. At the idea of like us oh, seeing each other's bodies and whatnot. Do body sounds in bed bother you or put you off? I assume that question is in relation to like sounds of a sexual nature of yeah. um, skin <laughs> banging or or squelching noises or even I'm... possibly farts in bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that's Maybe a... that's a bit weird. <laughs> like queefing. No, I love body sounds. Yeah. Like that's, like that's like all kissing part of the noises, experience. And, yeah. yeah. Little, little little things ASMR. banging together. That's what I like stuff. to call it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it's top quality ten out of ten ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR live. I've definitely farted during sex, and it's been rather hilarious. We just kind of laugh it off, and then try and get back in the mood, and then just carry on. <laughs> carry yeah, on. exactly. Do you have any pet peeves about me? I don't think so. I literally think there's one thing that you do that bothers me and it's more so because I imagine myself doing it and being grossed out is that when you brush your teeth you leave your toothbrush down on the sink even if the sink isn't clean. You've never even brought this up before. <laughs> you do it here in front of them. How you like to go quiet when you're annoyed or in any way off about something. It's just radio silence. I have an impenetrable wall that he's 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 well able to climb over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just takes a while, thing. doesn't I, it? I can usually sense within the first 30 seconds if something's bothering you. But then it'll sometimes take me hours before I find out what it actually is. Sometimes I don't know what it is. Sometimes it takes me like two days to figure out what's wrong and usually the answer is nothing and it's just hormones. Grossest thing you've ever seen each other do. Have you ever seen me pop in a spot? No, but I think that's probably because anytime you were doing it, I'd be like, no, uh, 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 <laughs> run out of the room. I've not seen you yeah. doing this, but I've heard you like clipping your toenails, even though that's not like a gross thing. But to me, it's, it's one of those things. I don't even like doing that to myself. Oh, I like right, getting yeah. pedicures. I'm just like someone else. Do I just feet yeah. are just feet. Oh, going in with a heavy one, right? <laughs> what would we break up over? Do we have any relationship deal breakers? And if we did break up, would we still stay friends? Oh, there's so many. It's so much to unpack. If I'm being entirely honest, and you can chime in for yourself, but I can't see us breaking up over anything at this stage. No, in general, this isn't just about you. It was just in general. If someone was like disrespectful towards me in terms of if they hit me or you know yeah. lied to me or anything like that if I completely lost trust or anything like that but oh, yeah. I don't I know you well enough now to know that you're not yeah. suddenly gonna start chasing <laughs> me around the house with a bloody <laughs> <laughs> machete <laughs> As I know you right now, I can't think of anything that no. would ever... Relationship, relationship deal, deal breakers. breakers. <laughs> I feel like it's just the general common sense ones, like being cheated on, being... Abused. Abused. Being taken for granted. Mm. Um, but yeah. I think I think any relationship deal breakers we, we do have are never going to come up because it'd be stuff yeah. like... Do you want kids? Do you want to oh, spend yeah. the rest of your life in Dublin? Do you want to, I don't know, you want to be close to your parents? Do like, you want to travel uh, uh, the world? Like yeah. we, we have all the same things that we want. So yeah. yeah, if one of us suddenly had a totally different life plan or if one of us really changed in the opposite direction, but I still think we would work through it. So yeah. regarding staying friends, I just personally don't think it's possible to stay true friends 
with an ex on what I would consider friendship. Like mm. to me, a friend is someone who you can confide in all the time and go to the cinema with and stay over in their house. And I just would never or have never been on that level. I've been acquaintances and friendly, but not yeah. like that. But I think that's something that did scare a lot of our friends that if we broke up, yeah. that we wouldn't want to see each other anymore. So Oh be yeah, like, because our group is like dude, the same friend group. Yeah. So I think there was a few nervous Nellies being like, oh, <laughs> nervous what Nellie. if it's like, oh, are you going to the Melanie party or the Thomas, Thomas party? party? If you could change something about the other person, what would it be? But oh, yeah. And I'm just like, Melanie, what's wrong? You're like, oh, well, this, this, and this. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> I, if I could change something, I would wish you would be more into film and stuff at the same level I am. When I watch a movie, my favorite thing is to just analyze it for like three hours oh, yeah. and i feel like when we watch a movie we don't really talk much about it afterwards oh, yeah. but that's probably something because you love films you just don't really talk about them yeah <laughs> like you you like watching them and stuff but yeah and then i'll come out and be like yeah. he's kind of like a julius caesar he likes to just be kind of like or and yeah. that's, that's all i get mm. i like having the chats so then i just end up watching loads of videos of people talking about movies <laughs> Fine. <laughs> but it's okay, we'll we don't have to be everything, do we, darling? <laughs> if we have a fight, who's the first to resolve it? Me. Yeah, that's that question answered. <laughs> Every time. Which one makes the weirdest noises during sex? Me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that one answered anyway. <laughs> Period sex? <laughs> question mark? <laughs> yeah, are we comfortable having sex while I'm on my period? Um. I don't really mind. I think it depends on at what point yeah. it is. Like, not on the first day. It's yeah. a bit, bit mad. The Red Sea. <laughs> <laughs> don't want you to turn into Moses. <laughs> Condom. Put down a towel, preferably a red towel. Grand. Yeah. Most memorable fight that we had. I still think our first fight was our worst one by a mile. Like, mm. it it happened long distance, so that's why it was so difficult. Um, yeah. It was the first time we had a very uncomfortable conversation about stuff where we had to be really vulnerable. Yeah. I won't go into it because it's very, very personal. Um, yeah, I think that was it because we had... Because we were long distance and also we hadn't really gotten that used to each other's communication styles in oh, an yeah. argument and not at all no. and we hadn't really gotten used to even be arguing with each other no um, and trying to go through that process when you're like a thousand miles apart yeah was a uh, horrible tough. do we believe in monogamy yeah yeah yeah. My last video was talking all about polyamory, monogamy, open relationships and a lot of the questions were asking if we would consider an open relationship or a polyamorous relationship. I don't think you can choose to be polyamorous, like I tried that, like dating yeah. lots of people at the same time. I think you've always been monogamous but you used to... He, 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 he got around, okay? <laughs> he had as many years of fun times. Yeah. But you were always still very much a one person at a time person. Yeah. Person, always. I, yeah, I never really got into the whole like multiple people at a time. Yeah. Thing. And the only reason I kind of tried that is because like I just heard people talking about it and I thought it would be a nice way to be while single. I found it really difficult. Anyway, you can watch my video all about that stuff. But mm. uh, yeah, when we started dating each other, I think I asked you, would you be into the like whole open relationship thing? Yeah. one day or when we're older and stuff like that and like we kind of just we were open to it, i think at the beginning for a few weeks yeah and then we slowly moved morphed into this like <laughs> <laughs> no monogamy all the way for me <laughs> yeah you're so like, monogamous you're sorry like, i'm bored <laughs> you're not boring <laughs> did we have long distance sex Oh, yeah, like we were <laughs> apart for a few months, like obviously we did. Um, just get creative, you know. Send yeah. each other videos, have have calls, Skypes. Do you have an issue with having sexy times while living at home? We're saving to buy a house at the minute. It's a challenge. 
have to be extra silent. Extra silent. <laughs> Wait until people aren't there or stay in hotels. <laughs> it's like yeah. their only options. <laughs> so of, do I like your natural smell and the smell of your sweat? I actually do. You know the way I'm always kind of like... <laughs> I even got a smell there. It's so nice. Like you always smell my skin and tell me you like my smell. Yeah. I think like isn't that to do with like fer like pheromones, pheromones. And, all, like fe and all pheromones. Like pheromones. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we stand on watching porn? Shared account. Yeah. <laughs> this is something that comes up so much. Um so someone tweeted saying that they've a friend who works in cabin crew. They said that the airline industry is notorious for partners cheating on trips away. How do I feel about that stereotype and would we consider an open relationship? So we answered the open relationship question yeah. thing. But um, I will admit, like, I've dealt with, like, kind of worries about that in the past, but you always say the same thing to me and, like, I know that that's true. Yeah, like, I don't get this stereotype like I think a lot of this stereotype comes from just media in general I feel like if someone's gonna cheat they're gonna cheat no matter yeah. what occupation they're in yeah like loads like, of housewives cheat and house husbands like it happens in every single industry every yeah, single job exactly like I know certain people who are like builders and are self-employed and they could very easily just not go to work that day and no yeah. one had notice and yeah. they could have a complete separate family so yeah. i think if someone is a cheater they're gonna cheat and if someone's not a cheater they're not gonna cheat and it's simple as that you're gonna be doing short haul anyway yeah. but i feel like even if you were doing long haul i'd more so be like sad that i wasn't there having fun as well rather than thinking that you're going to like lie to me the last one we're going to answer is if we couldn't have kids would we break up or stay together i think we'd I, stay together and just adopt <laughs> yeah i'd adopt a cool genius kid who can teach me piano <laughs> you're not gonna know it's a genius <laughs> one genius please <laughs> Uh, thanks to V.I. Poo for giving me the idea for this video. V.I. Poo makes for a very funny little gift idea for your partner or whoever you're dating if you want to give them a little giggle because I just feel like the poops, it's an issue for, for, for everyone yeah. in Lerve. It's, it's not a very sexy topic, is yeah. it? And even if you don't have a significant other, gift it to yourself. Self, yeah. Give the gift of not having to smell your poo to your family to your roommates I want to thank VI Poo for sponsoring us and I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day whatever you choose to do mm -hmm. make sure you thumbs this video up if you'd like to see this boy on my channel more often and we'll see you again in another video very soon very very soon very soon day 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 day